So Elon Musk tweeted the other day that we should be expecting a download button for full self-driving beta. And right now we have the autopilot feature and we should be getting full self-driving beta soon. We mapped out a roughly 70 mile driving loop around our Ann Arbor, Michigan headquarters that presents challenges such as multiple roundabouts, 90 degree highway curves, hectic cloverleafs, and crowded city streets. And we're gonna use it multiple times to evaluate not only Tesla, but other autonomous systems to track their progress over time. We'll show you how it works with autopilot and navigate on autopilot. We'll drive it once when we get full self-driving beta, as well as the full production release of full self-driving and show improvements made along the way. We recorded our initial test loop before Elon Musk tweeted that full self-driving beta was added to about 2,000 more cars, and unfortunately we weren't one of them. He said the next release will be in April, so we'll be keeping an eye out so we can do our second test loop when we finally get full self-driving. And if anything changes until then, we'll track them as well. When we leased our long-term test car in 2019, we paid for the full self-driving option for $6,000. It costs $10,000 now. The package includes autopilot, which now comes standard on all Teslas, but we also get navigate on autopilot, which we show here, and other features such as smart summon, which brings the parked car to you. And we'll eventually get access to the technology its name promises. Navigate on autopilot was very impressive when we had to go north on 23 from east on Highway 94. It's a tricky cloverleaf with a two-lane merge, but we were very impressed when the system tackled the cloverleaf with no driver intervention. Right now, Navigate on Autopilot only works on highways when a destination is set in the car's navigation system, and it'll route from on-ramp to off-ramp, doing automatic lane changes to pass slower cars, and it'll even take highway interchanges. For our test, we engaged it during all of our highway driving and set destinations in the navigation system to random spots off of our next highway exit. During our test, we had traffic light and stoplight control, which is still in beta, engaged. When we approached roundabouts, the car stopped at yield signs. There was one instance where we approached a little too fast and needed to take over. I'm gonna take over. It was going pretty fast. It said it was gonna stop, but we started accelerating a little bit, so I freaked out a little bit and took over. We had our lane changes for Navigate on Autopilot set on average. And on an exit from 96 to south on 23, we needed to cross three lanes of traffic to make our exit. But we couldn't do it in time, so we had to take over there too. We've got like no room left. All right, I have to take over because we are gonna miss our exit if we don't. So we, are, we had to cross three lanes of traffic. Luckily, there was no cars around us at the time that we had to do that, but it was in the left lane and we went to the middle lane and you can see there, there was no way it was gonna make a quick enough lane change to get over to our exit. So I had to take over there. Traveling south on 23, a single lane turned into two. It jolted us into the left, but we needed to be in the right to make our exit. Shortly after though, it changed us into the right lane and we took our exit just fine. Then the system was really impressive when four lanes needed to go into two. There was a lot of traffic during our test and it slowed down just right and made the lane changes just perfectly. On city streets, autopilot works pretty well, but there's some dicey situations when there's a lot of cars parked on the side of the road and when certain moving trucks or larger vehicles are parked, kind of sticking out a little bit. Also, when there's no lane paint, autopilot can't engage there either. So we just got done with our driving loop for the first time uh, with what we have right now, which is autopilot and navigate on autopilot. We're using those majority of the whole time. We only had a few hiccups. We had some late lane changes, some late merging. We had some issues with city driving in neighborhoods with uh, no paint on the road. Other than that, everything just kind of worked the way it should be. Uh, we're really excited to get full self-driving beta and see what kind of things we come into next and what kind of changes are there. But stay tuned.